What is going on guys? Shaddix here and welcome back to our unfinished base. We're actually here to pick up some sand and we're being attacked by Ow! Get, ow! Oh wow, okay yeah, he's doing a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and get away from him. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, work on something for the uh, mall uh, we're building or SHQ survival. Would you stop it? I, okay, well he is not being... Uh oh, okay, this isn't good. Oh, and there's a, there's a thing there, too. We're going to have to fly around until we have enough health to actually live through getting the sand. It seems like it's literally always nighttime on this server. It's absolutely insane. Every single time I go to the uh, shopping district to work on the base or whatever, or work on the uh, shop, it is literally always dark. It's like, come on, we like the sun. All right, so we are probably going to need to pick up probably two of these things of sand. We'll need that. Uh, what else do we need? Do we have any kind of stuff here? I'm going to go ahead and take these because we're going to need some glass for this project. I believe we have white dye there. We need some sand because we're going to use some white stained glass. And all of this quartz, uh, quartz? No, quartz, which Mystic gladly uh, helped me out with. I am thankful for that, uh, considering we're working on this project together. And she's also said that she'll uh, start helping me with this base because I guess we're going to share the base now, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, I don't actually need, need any sand right now because I have plenty of glass. Let me go ahead and put some of that glass in. You know what? No, this glass is going to be for this the base. I think I'll leave that here. Um, how many do we need of these? Hmm, because I just want to get the glass melting while I build everything. And I can probably, er, swap it out for this. So I only need two furnaces, which isn't too bad. Get out of- ow. Would you stop? I'm being just attacked by literally everything. Uh, let's see. I think I remember there being kelp blocks. But there might be enough coal here for two stacks. Or close to it anyway. Let's see if there's any more coal in here. Aha! Little bit of coal. I don't want to use the sad coal because that's going to be used for something else entirely. Um, for bait, well, the actual server in general. We have all of this, which is cool. We have hoppers and we have chests already, so that's awesome. We didn't have to worry about that. I don't think we need anything else other than just that little bit of extra coal, and I really don't want to have to go out and buy some, um, whatever it's going to take for us to get some materials. Aha! 63 kelp blocks. We'll go ahead and get rid of those. We don't need that. Um, just make sure we don't have any more regular coal. I think this is all pretty much wood. Alright, so let's go ahead and we're going to hop over to the shopping district. And uh, we're going to start building some stuff. First off, we need to set up these furnaces, though. But we should probably do that over there. So they're actually smelting. I am uh, sinking in the water. Whoops. All right, so this guy, um, Yandor, Yan Yanors, I guess is how it's pronounced. He's actually got a pretty awesome shop, and I guess those are all of his profits. And we're going to see if we can beat him. And I have no clue what this is, but I fell in here yesterday. And it's a uh, I'm just not going to bother going in there. But I, um, I'm so glad I was wearing an elytra because I literally would have died. I think that goes straight down to bedrock. Uh, let's see if we can fly all the way over here. I think Tal wanted to come check this out. Yeah, okay, so basically, what is this? I have no clue what this is. Alright, so when I came in here yesterday, this whole thing was all of these shulker boxes got stolen from us. And um, they destroyed an entire wall to get in here with a torch. And they destroy this sign, I guess. Alright, so we're here, and first things first, we need to go ahead and set up our furnaces. What we're going to do is this whole circular area, I'm going to make the circle again going out and around here. I don't know why I uh, destroyed it, but it's going to be like the lobby area, and it's going to go straight up to the roof. And all the stores are going to be on layers kind of back here. I think that'll be pretty cool. And those, um, the roof itself is actually going to be made out of quartz blocks, and uh, there's going to be a big fountain in the middle. I think we're going to make like a wishing fountain. I think that'd be pretty cool if we had like a wishing fountain of some kind for people to like toss like a rocket in and make a wish or toss like an emerald or a diamond or, you know, a piece of coal or or, or a half-eaten pickaxe. I don't know. It's, I just think it'd be cool to have like a wishing well like you always see in the malls that are just full of coins except I don't want to leave them there because they'll uh, despawn. So I'll probably have some kind of a hopper minecart underneath just because I think that'd be just interesting. But let's go ahead and get this circle marked out to see where everything is going to be. And then we can start uh, working on this in general, I think would be pretty cool. 
All right, I completely forgot that I actually need to set this up first. Uh, let's see, we'll do this. I don't know why I set two there. That doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense because, ooh, you know what? I could just, okay, no, it makes plenty of sense because I know exactly how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna set these four up like so, and then more hoppers on top, even though I don't have any more hoppers. Crap, time to go get more hoppers, oops. You know, I'm really glad I went end raiding, or I wouldn't have any of this just random spare stuff. I found this fortune pickaxe in here, too, which was pretty awesome. So I'm really glad I was able to do that, because I needed that for all of the quartz that I gathered. Because I just gathered a bunch of ore. So let's go ahead and, uh, where'd that iron go? It's right there. Let's go ahead and make two more hoppers, wherever those are going to be. Uh, set these on top. We should still have at least two chests left over, right? Uh, we have four, so we don't actually need to do this the way I thought. I can use sand to pile up here, I guess. Why not? Uh, let's see. Do I just want to do chests? It should... No, I'm going to do every other one. And then I'm going to kind of put like half a chest in each. And it should just start uh, going... Doing what it needs to do. But I need to get rid of some of this stuff. I think this one's empty, right? Let's go ahead and empty out some of this. All right, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and just splice it down the middle here, pretty much. And then we'll put that in a chest. And then we'll do the same with this shulker box as well. Kind of just splice it right down the middle. And put the sand in this chest. And now we can put in the shulker boxes. Uh, maybe. I need to get back up over here, though. Boom, so that should start emptying. And boom, that is also emptying. Let's go ahead and get rid of this and that. And let's go ahead and uh, where'd we put all of this? I think it was over here. Yep, let's go ahead and grab a stack of coal and I guess just this, cause why not? Uh, let's go ahead and get this started though. Uh, half a stack, half a stack, and then half a stack of that and half a stack of that roughly. So now we have glass smelting specifically for this project. Uh, we also have ton of white dye, so we can get uh, white stained glass, which is what we're gonna be using. Uh, we don't have end rods, but I'm sure we could find them somewhere in there. All right, now we can go ahead and uh, start finishing out the circle here. And I don't know what that is there, the iron. Wait, what is this? Hello? Oh, I placed that there. What did I do that for? I thought I placed that over here, or I thought it was in my inventory. That was a pretty bad place to put that, I guess, considering everything got stolen. So yeah, let's let this smell, and we're going to go ahead and build this circle out real quick and finish that, and then find out who built that uh, iron pillar, because uh, that was not me. I did not build that, and I don't think Mystic built it either, so I have no clue what that's doing there. Although it could be Mark... Maybe it's the middle? Hang on, do we have a... No, we don't have a two-block center, because that's the center, isn't it? Yeah, well, duh, this is the center. It's based off a circle. Yeah, so I have no clue what that is. Um, somebody please tell me. Alright, so the circle's been dug out. Of course it's getting to be nighttime again. It's literally always nighttime. But let's go ahead and grab this stone cutter. Because I wonder, what can we turn this into? We have some, um, quartz, 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 and quartz, obviously. Um, but no, I want... Actually, we're gonna start out with this. Because this is what I'm gonna try and do. Uh, I don't know how good this is. And I don't want it to be literally amazing. Although, I mean, I like amazing spoons. Amazing spoons are pretty cool. Uh, let's see if I can get all the way over and not destroy a single block of dirt that I don't... Well, I've already messed that up. I hear zombies somewhere underneath me. I don't like that. Uh, zombies are not nice. So let's go ahead and uh, fill this in. Because I'm going to kind of, um, if I can anyway, uh, do some kind of like rounded off edge leading up to like a higher platform. That'll probably be a block or two above where this is right now. I don't know though. That's what, that's what the plan is. Is to have it like that. So let's go ahead and we're going to actually fill in probably this whole floor. Uh, just the way it is just full of quartz real quick and then we have to relay down all the torches as well So that's probably just gonna be a big annoying Oh my gosh, what is this? 
Why is this even here? Okay, do I dare? Ooh. Well, this goes down pretty low, but I'm going to fill this in with dirt because I don't want anyone accidentally destroying something and then going down into that. Like, that would be absolutely terrible. I almost fell down that, and that would have just been terribly awful. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, well, we're still destroying all this. It's actually not as hard as I thought. The only hard parts are going to be this bit that I don't want to destroy just yet. Although, I guess it doesn't matter. We probably should just go ahead and uh, do the outer ring here first, just so we know where everything is. All right, yeah, let's do that. I kind of only want to do it one quarter at a time, though. Uh, just because it's going to be so dark, I don't want mobs spawning. Not to mention, I also don't want uh, little potholes like that. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. Oh, no way. Is This is, is going to be smooth quartz, isn't it? I'm so glad I realized this before I did the whole thing. I literally have not even really done any of it. Yeah, and this should give me just a flat, smooth surface instead of a grid pattern, right? Come on. I just want to be able to lay down two together. Or four together, actually. And boom. No. Okay, there it goes. I was about to say, hello, what just happened? Yes. All right. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. And then we're going to climb up here and we're going to make a new one of these. Now we have to wait for this to smell because I want to just do literally this entire box because I'm going to be using all of them like that anyway. So I might as well do the whole chest. All right, now let's go ahead and go pick up this this one, right? It's all completely full. Yes, it is. So we can go ahead and place this up. If I just do that, will that work? Yes, perfect. I didn't even have to lay it down in a weird fashion. What is one other thing we need? We need, um, oh yeah, we need fuel. Eek, okay, well where are we going to find that? I have the sad coal on me, but I really don't feel like using that. Hmm, do we have any other, I guess I could use a thing of, just a big thing of wood? I guess that wouldn't be the worst. All right, let's just toss a bunch of logs in here. What? What? Did I put that in there? I guess so. Oops, all right, well, I mean, that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and destroy all of this grass and get this all set up for the smooth quartz, but now we just gotta go ahead and destroy all this because uh, we don't want this anymore. This is not as good, and I guess we have to fill in that little hole there. And there's zombies down here, and I don't like the sound of that. So let's go see if we can figure out where these... Ah, okay, they're right there. Hey, buddy. Hey. That's right. I... Oh, there's three. I hate... Okay, I really don't like how the mobs stack. I don't know how that's going to affect mob farming. I don't... I hope it really doesn't affect it too bad. Oh, wow, you can't place torches on a... Uh stuff like that let's just light this up as best as we can uh hopefully it's not a full-blown cave like i can tell it already is if we could just light it up to where um when we're in the shop you can't actually hear anything that's probably the most important part i really don't care about mobs being down here it's just being able to hear them while you're in the lobby of the shop that kind of bugs me so let's go ahead and close this up now Hopefully there's not like a creeper behind me. Nope, there we go, close that off. I think I just saw it shadow right there as well. But now I can go ahead and finish off this. The sun's coming up, um, that's doing the smelties and I will see you guys when that is all ready to be filled in and when all this stuff is done, I guess. All right, well let's go ahead and wait for all this stuff to smelt. I haven't made this all into full concrete yet. I, oh, you're kidding, who on earth? All right, I'm going to have a mod remove this because, uh, trust me, you, nobody wants me to destroy this. Here, I'll give a little, I'll give you a little tidbit as to why. Yeah, that's why. I cannot destroy all of that, uh, bamboo. It's pro- okay, so it's probably either just someone, like, messing with me or something. Or it's the same guy who ended up stealing all of our shulker boxes and poking holes in that thing. Okay, so I'm calling over a mod to help. Yeah. I, uh, I don't even know what to do. 
I, I can't destroy this by myself. If I destroy this, it might actually crash the server. There's so much bamboo. I literally need to have a mod come and clean this up because someone decided that they're going to pull a prank. That's pretty uh, That's pretty messed up. I mean, it's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie, but I mean, I, re I literally can't destroy it myself because the server could literally crash and then people are going to get very, very mad if that happens. So... Yeah, I really don't want to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, no. Alright, I don't even know if it's going to work out very well with a mod doing it, but, I mean, it's uh, it's got to be done. This was this was going to be the whole courtyard. Gosh. Okay, so I have Android coming over. <laughs> He's, uh, yeah. So I thought it might be cool to watch him roll this back, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, time-lapse it for you guys. And that looks like it's all of it done. Let's go ahead and pop this back up. Guys, I just noticed something. Sir Jeff is gone. No, come on. He Did he kill Sir Jeff? No, that's messed up. Unless it was his dog. In which case, cool. But where on earth did Sir Jeff go? Guys, we gotta get a new dog now. Sir Jeff is gone. We need to make a Sir Jeff memorial. Oh man, I kind of want to build a fountain in the lobby and then put a dog on it and we'll call it the Sir Jeff Fountain. I think that's what we're going to do. Yep, that's what we're going to do guys. We're going to get a dog and it's going to be Sir Jeff Fountain. Let's go ahead and continue with this project though now that that little prank has been taken care of. Alright, so we're actually going to need some fuel. Now everything in here, like all the actual drops, seem to be one diamond for two stacks and that's the same in those buildings. But these aren't labeled, so I'm going to assume it's one diamond for two stacks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, put one back, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll start with that for now. I don't know if we'll need more, but we do really need some doorways, uh, doors to get out of here. We need some... Uh, stuff to be able to smelt the rest of this because uh, yeah what I had was definitely not enough I'll tell you that right now and we're starting to get mobs in here and that's uncool get out of here what the heck just happened what is I don't know what that was that was very strange so I've got enough to actually get started on this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of do like this all the way around the outside hopefully that doesn't take too long and then I'm going to kind of raise the next floor up a little by probably a block or two using the uh, smooth half slabs, I think. But then I got to go ahead and get rid of uh, this as well here. But that's why I've got that stone cutter over there, because uh, those are actually pretty useful uh, when it comes to getting large quantities of specific items. I'll go back around that side in a little bit, but let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, we do need to get rid of this concrete now now that we have this marked out go ahead and do this 
All right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and maybe do half a stack. How much is that going to be? A full stack of those? Uh, maybe I'll want a... I don't know. I think a full stack of these will work good. And I want to use half slabs and not stairs just because it'll be a lot better looking that way. So let's go ahead and uh, see how this looks going around like this. I'll probably want it like too wide just so it's not like such a steep incline. But I guess I will find out once we finish uh, the first row here going all the way to the side. Yeah, I don't think it's going to look very natural only doing uh, one wide. So we're going to at least try two and hopefully that looks a little better. All right, so it does look a lot better like that. But now we got to go ahead and uh, do actual quartz blocks for the rest of it so I can go up another one. I think it'll stay like that because this is going to be the bottom level. So I think it just going up by one block is just going to give it that extra little bit of detail that I would really, really like in a build uh, this size. And there's mob spawning. That's kind of scaring me a little bit. Uh, we're going to need to go grab a couple more pieces of smooth stone to finish this part out. Uh, that shouldn't be too big of a hassle, though. I'm sure we've got some left in the uh, smeltery over here. Nice. We have 22 left, and that should be enough to finish this. we got to hurry up and get this floor done, though, uh, so mobs can go ahead and uh, stop spawning. That way we don't die to them. Hmm. And I don't I don't know if I'm going to want to raise it up another level until I have the whole floor in. Because right now I can only really see it uh, from this angle. And from this angle it looks a little high. But that's probably because this is all um, one full block of a jump. And I kind of don't like that. Zombies, get out of here. And then we have the creeper over there. Hopefully we can sleep through the night. Alright, so it is daytime. And I'm just going to have to wait until all of this smelts up. Uh, it's going to be an absolute terrible time. It's going to take so long, but it's going to look so good. And then once we get this done, because this is going to be the lobby, this is going to be where all the shops are, and I'll figure that out later, I guess. But I want this to be done because there's going to be a fountain in the middle that I'd like to get to today, but I need all that stuff to smelt up, and that's actually going to take quite a bit of time. So I guess AFKing it is here, huh? Alright, so the, the stuff down there is still smelting, but I thought it might be a good idea to finally turn all of this concrete powder into hardened concrete. Because, yeah, not having it as hardened concrete is creating a little bit of lag if Endermen decide they want to, you know, take a block and then just a million entities just start falling out of the sky. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to do this while I wait, and I'll uh, see you guys when this is done. And then we also have to get more concrete for the extra bits um, on the end here, on the top and the bottom, to kind of make it more like a gaming console. Even though that's not a terrible look, I still think it would look pretty cool. Alright, that's honestly a pretty cool site. You have some leftover bits here that we still gotta take off, but I think that might be another one over there. That happens every now and then just because of, you know, water lag. But I mean, look at that. That's just literally a wall of water from placing, letting go, placing, and letting go. Except, you know, doing it on the side so it covers like three at once or something. And no, I guess that wasn't uh, mistakenly done. Uh, let me just double check. Probably take a fly around to make sure everything is okay. Make sure we didn't miss any. Sometimes the water is uh, a little iffy whether or not it wants to work properly. But, I mean, that's the case when you have so much, you know what I mean? So it's not a surprise like this. Alright, so that's all been fixed on that side. And the outside here just has a random block that I guess I'll end up getting rid of. More water. I don't know what happened with these bits to make them all weird like that. But that took care of that. And I'm pretty sure the inside is all completely done now. Although, although there could be little spots like that that I'm missing. But, I mean, that happens. I'm not too worried about that. Look at this. Look how cool this is. That is so awesome. Yeah, I think we got it all. There's no spot sticking out that just magically got missed. The water... I don't know how I took damage there. The water is coming down. This stuff is still smelting. I don't think we've... Uh, yeah, we don't have too much of it smelted yet. Unfortunately, it's pretty slow, and I don't know why. But yeah, so this is all hardened concrete now. Look at that waterfall. That is absolutely amazing. Wow. All right, well, back to AFKing, I guess. There's really not much else we can do um, for this portion of it while uh, this stuff is smelting. So I guess we just got to gotta wait a little longer. 
So we finally have enough smooth quartz, probably to finish off most of this. Um, I'm gonna figure that out, hopefully. I need to move all this as well to over there, like over here somewhere, once I get this kind of figured out. And we have more zombies just flooding in. Get out of here. Come on. Go away. Thank you. What was that? Oh, he must have had thorns. Okay. All right, so let's get this um, all kind of figured out. We'll get all that stuff put over there and get this floor made. And then we can work on the uh, central fountain, which is, uh, I think, going to be made out of stone brick. But that's what that uh, piece of wood's doing there. It's kind of to mark the middle of the circle because I want the fountain to be very central, like in the very, very middle of this big room. That'll go all the way up to, well, the ceiling. Yeah. So we finally got it filled in. We actually had enough quartz, oddly enough. I was thinking we might not, but now we can get started on this fountain. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe a five by five or 11 by 11. I guess let's try that out first. I don't actually know how I'm going to link this up to be a circle. I, I think it's going to be like two two and then diagonal two i don't actually know off the top of my head although this does look like it's gonna work so i guess we'll find out and we're gonna do it out of stone brick too so hopefully that looks okay and hopefully i don't fall through like the ceiling or something of the little uh cave that's underneath here is that a, i think that's how the circle for an 11 by 11 goes if i'm not mistaken so let's go ahead and get this out of the way here. I'm going to keep that log there until the literal very end. Just so uh, we have it available for uh, the middle block. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. And no, blocks stop like disappearing and reappearing. Because that would be cool. Um, how do I want to do this? Alright, so I think I've kind of finally decided on the base a little bit. I don't know how I feel about the half part being there to be honest or the full block being there to hold up the whole thing uh, I don't know I feel like if I have that there then I need to have these uh, middle struts as well let's see does that look any better you know what I think it does I think it does a lot yeah all right and now we just need a middle block as well uh, I'm not entirely sure what though um let's see I might have an idea, but we're going to need the stone cutters again. Let's go and get, um, I'm thinking some, I don't know, how much are, are these going to make one per thing? Perfect. Uh, let's see, I'm going to need those, and I'm actually going to need half slabs as well. So let's go ahead and get all of these in. I hope this comes out good. Alright, we can destroy this with a pickaxe. Yeah, because I can. That's right. Uh, if we do this... And then we can do like that, and then like, um, I kind of want to be on top of here, just so I can, uh, jump and place it under me, even though I still can't do that. So I'm going to do this, and then I'll break that, and I won't pick it up, because that's just how things roll. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe do something along the lines of this. Uh, we can put a water source block right here, maybe. Ooh. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm, I think it would. Um, I don't know, how's that looking from where? From this angle or whatever. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see if that'll actually hold water without breaking. No, it just waterlogs that. That's what I thought would happen. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, we'll break one of those for now, just to put a block there so we can place the water source block. And I'm not entirely sure how I like that, to be honest. Uh, let's see. I don't think I like that at all. Hmm. I kind of like the look of that. Now, I kind of want water coming off of that top one as well. And let's see how that looks. Let me go find some more water. I probably should have made like a infinite water source or something. Am I actually going to keep this bucket of water? Let's find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Alright. Let's get up to the top. See what happens. I kind of want to see if I can land up there. Honestly. Not going to be easy. But I am going to go ahead and give it a go. And... Boom. 
Wow, that went swimmingly. How's this gonna look? Wow, I actually really like that. I kind of like how that just worked out. Hmm. Boing. All right, how do you look? I kind of like that, except I want that block in the middle to be, I'm thinking, a light source block. And maybe, did I just get rid of the water that was in the center of that? No, but it kind of sourced all these blocks. But I don't actually mind that, because what I planned on doing, it... <sighs> I don't get it. Now will it do what I want it to do? I don't think it did, to be honest. I mean, it made it a little bit bigger. You know what? I'm actually fine with that. I kind of like that. Except I'm going to need to find some sort of a light source. I'm thinking prismarine uh, lanterns or whatever those things are called. And I don't think I've got any of those here. Nope, don't have any there. So it looks like I'm going to be uh, going to fetch some from a shop somewhere. And I can only think of one. And that's Illusion Inc. Inc. right over here. I hope I have enough diamonds. I have three on me right now. Skeleton drops. Nope, nope, and nopity nope. C-related items. Okay, aha. What is this? Two stacks for a diamond. That's not bad. I'm going to spend all three diamonds to get six stacks. Because six stacks is definitely going to be useful. And I kind of want to um, uh, miss that doorway by a lot. Uh, first off, we need to get this in here. And is it even going to allow us to do what I want to do here? Ah, yes it is. Okay, how's that look from the outside? You literally can't even tell. I mean, you'll probably be able to tell once the sun goes down. But right now, you actually can't tell at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and break that. Um, one block and a stair from that middle pillar there. One block and a stair. Boom. And then on this side as well. A block, stair, and there. And then last one. I don't want the water pushing me to the wrong thing. And boom. Nice. That's pretty good. So how does throwing stuff in there work? Oh, wow. That kind of like shoots all the way out. I might have to redesign this because it's... If people throw their stuff in here. Oh. Well, that one just fell straight to the bottom. Okay, so maybe I just got unlucky there or something. Maybe if you throw it into the water, it shoots. Okay, no, I don't even know how that first one happened then. Alright, so I guess this fountain works. I like it. The last thing I need to do is I want to put white stained glass in a circle all the way out to, like, going around here. Because this is going to be, or like right here even, because this is going to be um, the thing that shows down into where our vault is going to be. So I just think that would look pretty cool. Like this has lights and I'll probably put lights around here as well. Um, like I might put one on each corner maybe? Hang on, let's uh, figure this out. Because I can put one here, which I think I'll do. One there there and there so far i think it's gonna work out pretty well like this i don't want to lose those because quartz is really really expensive right now especially considering nobody actually sells it so uh that's i think where uh shq is gonna have to come into into play there oh yeah that lights this up nice and then once we get this outer ring in here where we have the um white stained glass then i think it should be good uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that figured out real quick. Shouldn't be too difficult. All right, so we have this dugout, and this is where all the white stained glass is going to be. I have these in the floor because I plan on doing something with these. I'm going to have these be light fixtures. Um, end rods, specifically, and there's like six million zombies in here because, as always... Jeez, ah, water, come on. As always, it's nighttime here in the shopping district. But yeah, okay, so what I want to get set up here is the lights um and i don't know how i'm gonna do that 
with the stained glass. I know I want these four here, zombies. Literally, you are being the biggest nuisance. Uh, can I get, uh, I want three more in between these two, but what would be the best way to do it? I wonder. So it's a little unfortunate, but I don't think anybody on the entire server sells end rods. So currently, just to light up that area, we're actually going to end up using wherever all those sea lanterns are I had. Here we are. Yeah, so we're just going to use these for now. We are going to break in here and replace these sea lanterns with um, the item we would like. There we go. Which is uh, the end rods, but for now, we just got to get this lit up because there are and mobs literally everywhere and once zombies start spawning they never stop spawning and that is a big problem so i'm going to go ahead and get all the lights in here and then fill it with glass and we're going to take a look at what it looks like as soon as it's done hopefully we don't get attacked by too many zombie dudes and that is the lobby done obviously i'm going to have mystic probably come in here and decorate some of this because i'm absolutely terrible when it comes to smaller decorations but I really like how this lobby turned out. Those are going to look so much better once they're end rods and the safe is underneath here. I might do the, uh, not safe, the vault. I might do the vault in the next episode just because. I think it's going to go all the way down to bedrock just because it would look cool. Yeah, let's do it like that. But I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and comment down below what you want to see me work on next with the uh, survivalist headquarters. And as always, subscribe if you're new and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace. And hopefully the video doesn't take as long to come out as this one did. Sorry about that. I've been working like 60-something hours a week at work. It's been a lot, okay? I am trying, though. I'm trying. Peace again.